to Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 206, The Invention of Our Discontent, by Chase Knight with TheMinimalist.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. What's going on, Life Optimizers? Welcome back to another minimalist edition of OLD. That stands for Optimal Living Daily, which is the podcast where I find really awesome blogs on personal development, productivity, minimalism, and more. And I read them to you so that you don't have to stare at a screen for hours at a time. If you've listened before, welcome back. And it's awesome that you're continuing to take in all this free content to live a more meaningful life. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. I find you the best blogs and chapters from amazing authors, and by simply listening to this podcast five or 10 minutes a day, you will optimize your life and it will impact you in multiple ways, all good things, of course. And if you'd like to show your support for this cause, which started as a social experiment for me to work on my social and performance anxiety, you can help keep this podcast alive by becoming a patron of the show. You can do that at oldpodcast.com. And if you're not in a position to contribute financially, you can also show your support for free by joining my weekly newsletter. Any of those is greatly appreciated. And with that, let's start optimizing your life. The Invention of Our Discontent by Chase Knight with TheMinimalist.com Let me tell you about the monster who rides on my shoulders. I can't see him, but I know he is there. I sense that he's covered in mauve shag carpet, has overly goggly eyes, and a gaping black maw with a felt tongue inside. I also sense that his name is Howard, but I could be wrong. Howard is always on my back wherever I go, hopefully pointing out reasons I have to be unhappy and offering advice on things or experiences I could buy to make me happy again. I used to listen to Howard like a student at the feet of a trusted guru. Back in 2008, before I moved to Austin, Texas, I took out a small loan to consolidate all my credit card debt into one payment with the intention of immediately chopping up all my credit cards and never buying anything on credit again. Once I was in Austin, though, I started to feel sad and lonely. Howard told me I would feel happy again if I spent $1,500 on a Panasonic mini DV camera, a three-point light kit, and a boom mic. On credit, of course. I made a short film, and it wasn't very good. I was sad again. Howard told me what I really needed was an Appaloosa. So I pawned the brand new camera and bought a surly spotted horse who wasn't even broke to ride. I can't lie, Captain did bring me happiness for a while, He did stave off the loneliness, but a hamster probably would have sufficed. Do you know how much it costs to feed a horse? By April 2010, I had to sell Captain just to pay the rent for one month. As I watched Captain's new family drive off into the sunset with him, I started to wonder if Howard had ever really had my best interests at heart. I became more consciously aware of the things Howard was whispering in my ear. I started to think that maybe Howard was just making stuff up making up stuff for me to be unhappy about and making up ludicrous, unrelated solutions for these perceived woes. Does any of this sound familiar? If you're a human being, then I'm guessing it does. Howard is a member of a prolific, parasitic species which infects most of the Western world. The common name for this monstrous species is discontentment. These monsters attach themselves to us very early in our lives. Even before we can speak, they begin spinning their lies in our ears. You don't have enough. You are not enough. You need to own more, do more, be more. Let's go shopping. Let's get wasted. Let's get laid. You'll be happy in the morning, I promise. Yet the promises never materialize. Whatever warm, fuzzy feelings you gain from the acquired object or experience fizzle out once the monster gets bored. The whispers start anew. Try something else. I bet a 62-inch TV would make you happy. But enough about how lousy Howard and his family make us feel. Let's talk about how to shut them up and shove them off our shoulders. It's easier than it feels. Here's why. Monsters don't exist. We can't be controlled by something that isn't even real. That's just silly. We've been conditioned to believe that discontent is a natural human state or even a necessary factor in human progress. This, I believe, is a manufactured lie to keep us in need of things we never actually needed. In our lives, we will experience discomfort. We will experience disasters. These are real and unavoidable parts of our existence. They teach us lessons and help us evolve, even when they hurt. Discontent is a different beast. It offers us nothing we can truly use. It is a false promise of fulfillment around the next corner, then the next, and the next, and the next, until we find ourselves standing on a ledge with no more corners to turn. 
But again, the good news, it's not real. It's not natural. It's not inevitable. You can debug your thought code. The concept of enough is built into the earth. She provides everything we need. You don't see discontent in the animal kingdom. Wild animals never take more than they need to survive. A healthy wolf that has just eaten will not kill again just because he can, just to prove how powerful or sexy or cool he is. If we would only follow in their footsteps, embrace the enough given to us by the earth, and accept that this is all we truly need, food, water, freedom, companionship, then we have a standard against which to measure the lies of discontentment being whispered in our ears, and we gain the sanity to recognize them for what they are. Then we can look Howard in the eye and say, I can't listen to you because you don't exist. We usually have to repeat this a few times in a few different situations before Howard gets the point. Sometimes the nonsense they tell us will just be too appealing to resist. We might experience a lapse. Don't be discouraged, this happens to all of us. We're fighting hundreds of years of conditioning to be unhappy with our lot in life, but we can overcome it. With enough time and practice, we can wake up one day with a lightness on our shoulders we didn't know could exist. Howard has left the building. We can roll our shoulders, let out a big sigh of relief, look around at our lives and say, enough. You just listened to the post titled The Invention of Our Discontent by Chase Knight with TheMinimalist.com. So I was a guest post on TheMinimalist.com and I love the concept of enough. It's talked about in one of my favorite books, Your Money or Your Life. And it's so true that most people are on constant consumption autopilot. And once we realize how much stuff we actually use in our lives, probably about 20% or less of what we own, We see that we don't need more things and it's actually freeing to let go of a lot of it. Once again, if you wanna give this show a little virtual hug and help keep this going, you can have a huge impact by becoming a patron of the show and contribute any amount you like one time or monthly at oldpodcast.com. It covers the website server, the podcast server, which are two different things, the mailing list costs, the books I give away and more. But if you can't contribute financially, you can simply join my weekly newsletter and that helps too. And that's it for today. Have a great start to your week and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.